like based on history of the trend, this is a below par total. How confident are you with the half ace that you're facing here? I think uh, after restricting them to a total of over 70 and the field being smaller, uh, we felt we pretty much can chase that score, but unfortunately it didn't happen. Did you feel you were doing a good job of keeping pace with the run rate, or did, did you feel like across the first inning which you were behind at any stage, even though you had a lot of wickets in hand? Uh, I think pretty much after 10 overs, we felt like we need to, to, to be above the, the run rate so that it will be difficult towards the end. But we didn't get those boundaries in, in, in the overs that we needed. So unfortunately, it didn't happen. So that's why I think we, that's why we went wrong. In terms of, I guess, some of the, the, the creativity that was there in the Scotland innings, some of their guys, George Runs get the stars, they'll, they'll sweep reverse sweep. But Tom Sol at the end in the last five overs, scooping over fine leg. Some of those um, types of unorthodox shots didn't really see much of it from Kenny and the Did you feel that that's an area where you guys were lacking or an area where you can improve? I think that's an area we really, we really need to work hard on because we rarely play those kinds of shots. I think maybe one or two people can play those shots. But I think for the rest of us who are betting from over six, seven, eight, nine, I think it will be important for us to start uh, working and playing those shots towards, towards the game. Because that was the main difference, because they scored at, at least 30, 40 runs extra with, the, with, the, with those type of shots. Is there any week in particular that you felt like shifted momentum towards Scotland in that chase? Sorry, come back again. Is there any wicket in particular from your team, yeah. whether it was your front cream or Colin Tavoya, where you felt like that was what totally shifted momentum back towards Scotland? Uh, I think the wicket of Rakep and Collins, it really shifted the, the game back to, to the Scottish side. So pretty much because the Collins and Rakep are very, very dangerous players. If they would have stayed there till the 18th over, probably would have won the game. They scored 110 in the last 10 overs. You did a very good job in the first 10, holding them to 60 for two, and then they scored 110 in the last 10. Where did you feel like your bowlers were going wrong, if at all, in that last 10 over stretch? I think pretty much of variation. We didn't we didn't get our variations right, and I think the at the end of the day they got the better of our, out of our bowlers. So for them, I say a, a day a day that went went well for that for them. But for us, I think. Something we really need to look at it for us to work to work at because there's no time. The, the other games are coming, so there's no time to go for nets and practice. Just now, mental side of it from our bowling side. What's the number one thing that you feel needs to change from a strategic standpoint or, or from a, an approach on the batting and bowling side in order for you guys to turn results around in your next match? Uh, I think uh, chasing a total has its own pressure as well. So for us, if we will be will be put to, to chase a total in the next few games, I think the only thing we can do is try to to stay ahead of the run, net run rate, not to make it go, go higher from where it is.